Well, hello there. I haven't um, made a video in like a month other than the animation, but it's fine. We're doing another one of these because I am very creative. It is 10 o'clock at night. <laughs> and I was just like, I had an animation idea specifically for Roxy. And I was like, man, I, w I want to... I want to start animating that, I want to start doing that, but then I realized I didn't know how to draw Roxanne. And so, um, this is what I'm doing now. I'm drawing her so that I can have a reference. Also because I'm bored. And like, I just finished with homework like two hours ago, and I had dinner, and then I was like really thinking about the animation idea, and I was like, man, I need to do it. I need to get started right now, or else I'll never do it. And then that's when I realized I... I, I don't know how to draw her, and i never drawn her, so I'm doing this now. So, <laughs> of course, the last video, like the last full video I uploaded was a draw with me, and I was just drawing Glamrock Freddy, playing a Nintendo game for some reason, but this time now I'm drawing Roxanne because, well, I am doing this just so I can have a reference. Also... <laughs> A lot's been- I wouldn't say a lot's been going on with me, but like, it's- it's been a- it's been a, it's been kind of hard for like the past like t week, maybe two weeks now, because, you know, it's school and just the way the world is right now. Trust me, I've heard about what happened in Ohio and it feels- I- I'm so upset with how that happened, like, it's crazy. I- yeah, I don't- I don't know. And then- Something else happened in my state. I live in I live in Florida, and yeah, I I heard about what happened in Florida too, and I was just like, "What the heck is going on, bro?" I'm just hoping that all of this gets solved very soon, because I would hate for you know stuff to get worse. I don't even get started with my governor. But anyways, we're moving on from that. No, just just no. It's been rough. It's been a rough two weeks. I just realized my nail f <laughs> Oh no. It's fine. We're just gonna roll with it, I'm sorry. Anyways. Yeah, the, the past two weeks, not been fun. I was just like, no, this is happening. I got- I had to- I had to do schoolwork. I had to do college work. This is ridiculous. You're asking too much of me. I can't take it, bruh. Like, lately, I've been really obsessing over FNAF. Like, I've been, like, 100% hyper-fixated. Like, like, I know there were times before this year where I was like, yeah, I love FNAF. FNAF's my favorite game. I love FNAF. And, of course, it would only last for, like, a week. Like, I would just be like, oh, yeah, just checking in. Watch, like, a few videos. Reminisce. But then, like, this year, since, like, December... I was just like full throttle back into my FNAF phase. Just crazy. I've been specifically obsessed with Security Breach. I know Security Breach is not good in terms of like how it was developed and rushed. But like and the story. I have a lot of I have a lot of things to say about the story and the characters. But that's just cuz I like the game so much. But like, you know, I still like it. <laughs> It's just bad in a good way. It doesn't help that I've been reading fanfics and looking at fan art and everything. Just... It's great. I also... <laughs> I've been posting a... I wouldn't say I've been posting a lot, but like... Like, whenever I do start drawing, I would just... I would draw FNAF. Like, it... Like, lately I... Of course I did the animation. With um, the, the unused Freddy voice line, and then I like I posted that on Tumblr and also Instagram, and then I've just been drawing pictures of Glamrock Freddy or whatever and posting it on my Tumblr specifically, and I made like one or two TikToks that are a little suggestive, but like honestly, it was really funny, and it was it was really funny, <laughs> it was really funny making them. And of course, my friends, they're not, they haven't disowned me yet, but you know, they're on their way too. 
it's so funny how like you know i if you don't know i'm i'm i'm, I'm a lesbian you know so it's a little funny maybe even a little right i a little ironic how i sent for like glamrock freddy and roxanne wolf is right here like look at her i mean Gla chica is there too but like i don't like chica that much and i don't like roxanne roxanne is like i don't it's not like i hate her it's more just kind of like a, she intimidates me <laughs> she i don't i don't know how i feel about her in game she is a mess she literally has self-image issues that i don't think i can deal with and i know that's probably messed up to say you know because it's like oh if you're if you're if your significant other is going through something, then you should be there to support them. Yeah, that's true, but I also got my own issues. <laughs> and comparing to like how Roxanne is in the game, also she's kind of just mean. She's like mean lesbian, you know? Like, I don't think I could handle that. I think she'd make me cry, whether that's an accident or intentionally. I just wouldn't feel safe in that relationship. <laughs> she's like the- she's the type that you would like... It's like she looks good and she sounds good, but then when you're actually with her, it's like, I want to leave. I don't- I made a mistake, <laughs> you know? And sure, maybe she'll improve, maybe she'll improve, but it's gonna take a lot of work to, to you know, to get- to, to fix it's like when it, she's literally i can fix her but like you can't really fix her <laughs> she's yeah i don't know then again that's probably her like glitched version or her um influenced version like, when she's under the virus i don't know how she is when she's not under the influence of the virus for all i know she could be like a sweetheart she probably is but like i don't know i don't know Anyways, I, ch I ship her more with Chica than I do with myself anyway, so it's like, no thank you. Roxanne's cool though. I love go-kart racing. But I can't. <laughs> I cannot. I, I don't think I have it in me to get in a relationship with something like this. So, you know. She looks pretty good though. She looks great. I'm impressed. This this is like the first time I've actually drawn like a full picture of her. And of course I used reference before I started recording so I wouldn't be floundering around. But um, yeah. Pretty good. Also I drew Monty as well at some point for like one of my fanfics that I was writing. Um, <clears throat> I drew a picture of him. I'm still... I'm still trying to work out the kinks with his design. I'm not really sure how I feel about my version, but you know what? It's fine. Freddy, I feel like I've gotten down to a T. Like, sure, there's some, like, mild inconsistencies with his... with him and my style, but, like... It's pretty good. I, plus, I, I draw him a lot more than the others. Like, I, <laughs> I tried drawing Glamrock Chica the other day in my notes and pen, mind you. And she did not look great. <laughs> then again, I was drawing in pen. And it was the first time I drew her without reference. So, you know. Um, she didn't look too hot. Then again, she never really does look too hot. <laughs> she She's always eating garbage. But, um, you know. Something that, like, I find really hard to do is drawing wolves. I have like a wolf character, not like a furry character, but like a wolf, like an actual wolf character that one of my OCs ha like has as a pet. Her name is Midnight. I feel like I don't know how to draw wolves, but at the same time, I still somehow manage to make it look wolf-like. So Roxanne is definitely like that practice that I need, sort of. I'm mean, sure she's anthropomorphic. She's an animatronic, but like. I mean, it's better than nothing, I guess. I don't know. Also, she looks more furry-like than, like, Freddy. <laughs> like, Freddy, I, I draw him, like, really close to his animal 
electronic form more than anything because I just like that version of him. But Roxanne, she looks more like natural, like anthropomorphic character than like than I than I intended. But you know what? It's fine. I don't mind it too much. I think the only design part of Roxanne that I don't like is the lipstick. I don't understand why they thought putting lipstick on a girl animatronic that makes her girly. No, it doesn't. It looks dumb on her. I mean, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. Because, like... Okay, let me talk about... <laughs> let me talk about the <laughs> designs for, for most of the female animatronics in the FNAF universe. Alright? Okay, we got, we got the original classic Chica. She doesn't have lipstick, but you can you can kind of figure out she's a girl without much, without much, like, thinking. Like, you know, first of all, her name is Chica. Then again, if you don't know that, then you're just gonna call her a, a duck or a chicken. It doesn't matter. But, like, when you do find out her name is Chica, it's kind of like, okay, that makes sense. Chica. Chica. Chica's girl in Spanish. Got that. And then there's, you know, then there's Toy Chica. Um, if you if you already you you already know what she looks like. So, <laughs> I listen. I'm not I'm not judging Scott Cawthon. You know I'm, I'm not gonna judge him. But like, what was he on when he was making <laughs> this? <laughs> Why did he make her like that? <laughs> what was the reason? I don't know. Listen, it's like, it, like I have no words. I have no words. First of all, it's child entertainment. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm at fault for sexualizing the animatronics, but that's like the first thing that people are gonna think about for the most part. Listen. Okay, no, we're not slut shaming the chicken. Never mind. We're moving on from that. I, I, I just, I don't like Toy Chica's design, but like she's iconic in her own way. Then again, she scares me. Not even because she, her design is scary. It's more just because I'm just like, what is wrong with her? <laughs> she's, she's got so much going on, and it frightens me. It doesn't help with her voice lines either. Like her voice lines freak me out because it's just like, I don't know. I don't like- I don't like Toy Chica. She- she gives me the weird- she gives me weird vibes. I don't like Toy Chica. Um, and like I know people are gonna simp for Toy Chica because of her design and whatever the frick else is going on there. And of course of her- her voice lines as well, but like, I can't. <sighs> then again, I don't know why we're studying for the animatronics anyways. <laughs> They're fucking robots. Um, I'm being a little bit hypocritical here. <laughs> I'm being a little hypocritical. And I'm realizing that. But like, anyways. I just, okay, I don't like Toy Chica. That's it. I, I'm a little biased. Then again, the toy, most of the toy animatronics I don't like. Toy Bonnie, he's like the only one that I can tolerate. Because he doesn't, he doesn't talk. Toy Freddy is hilarious, but I'm also like, you're literally the worst Freddy I've ever seen right after, like, Rockstar Freddy, because Rockstar Freddy is annoying. Toy Freddy, he's just a gamer, and I don't like gamers, <laughs> so no. He would call me a very hard slur <laughs> over an online game, bro. Like, I don't think I would appreciate it, so... Yeah, no. Like, most of the toys... Maybe Mango. Mango is also, like, another one. I give her a pass, or them a pass. So, you know. But, like, Toy Chica, Toy Freddy, no. Absolutely not. Would not trust them with- <laughs> I would not trust them with my life. And then, like, Sister Location... I don't like Baby. I mean, I liked her at first for her, like, being an antagonist, you know? She looked pretty cool, and then, you know, what we got of her in, like, the actual game, it's kind of like, 
Where is she? She's literally nowhere in the game besides like at the end and she's not even like doing anything besides talking to you. So like, what's the deal there? And then like, apparently in the novels, I haven't read the novels, the visual novel specifically, I don't know what is going on with her design <laughs> and what they were doing with the story. I really- I was literally watching a video about the butchering of Baby just now before I started recording. I should probably go watch that. Um, I'll put the video in the description, but like, I was just like, what the- <laughs> what is- what? Yeah, um, editor me. Imagine Harley Quinn except that she was like a redhead and she, I mean I'm pretty sure Harley Quinn probably has daddy issues but you know yeah I don't why do they do that to her <laughs> ew but um yeah no no that's a baby literally her name is baby why would you do that to her no and like don't even don't even don't even get me started with scrap baby like ew no like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel. The voice actor is great, though. I love her voice. I love the interpretation of Baby. Just what they did with her, no. No. That's all I can say is no. <laughs> Fun time Chica? She's just a glorified toy Chica, except, you know... I don't- I don't know. I- I, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> glorified- She's a glorified toy Chica. Literally, she doesn't do anything. I don't know why I said that. I, I don't know. Then again, I feel like I could probably trust Toy Chica. Sorry, Funtime Chica a lot more than than Toy Chica. So I don't know. Maybe that's just me. But then again, she has a fun time, and fun times should not be trusted in any shape or form. <laughs> Especially since they are basically made to capture children. So no, thank you. Actually, I changed my mind. And then there's Rockstar Chica. I don't like the Rockstars in general, but like, I don't hate them. But once again, though, it's like, eh. Like, what is your purpose? What are you here for? <laughs> what are you- And then her voice, I don't mind. Honestly, I don't even mind Rockstar Chica. I think I just have a bias against the Rockstar animatronics. I think the only one I hate, though, is Rockstar Freddy. <laughs> I think he's like- like I, like I mentioned, he's like my least favorite Freddy <laughs> right before Toy Freddy. Or right after Toy Freddy, I don't know which way I said that, but... In Glamour Chica, she's like, you know... Like I mentioned, she... she she's okay. She's alright. I mean, I ship her with Roxanne, you know? So, it's like... You would think most of the... Oh, I forgot about Ballora. I have no idea how I feel about Ballora. <laughs> I mean... I mean, there's like the whole Fanon thing where, you know, they think that she's William Apton's wife, or supposedly. I'm okay with that. I don't see it, but I'm okay with that. It's not like I disagree with it. It's kind of funny to imagine that the Laura is based off the woman that left him, or that he probably murdered, but I'm gonna say he, she probably left him. <laughs> and he's just like, I'm gonna make this... Very attractive robot ballerina based off of my ex-wife because <laughs> she left me. Can get very lonely down in the basement, I guess. I don't know. And then like I I don't know. There's I can't think of any other other female FNAF character besides Froggy. Is that her name? I think. Yeah. No, she's very forgettable. <laughs> Just, you know. So, like literally. Anyways, what I was trying to get to was like. There's no other, like, and like, why are we simping for these? <laughs> like, I understand, like, before the Glamrocks, none of them were even that attractive, to be honest. Like, none of them. The Glamrocks came along and we're all just like, whoop, gotta take our pants off, like. And then there were people out here before the Glamrocks are like, I already found them hot before. I'm like, no, you didn't. Shut up. No, you didn't. You're lying to- you're lying to yourself. <laughs> and I know I'm just trying to, like, cope, but, like, I just don't see it. Like, mm -mm, you're lying. Why am I talking about- <laughs> I hate the lipstick on Roxanne. Oh my god. Why does she look like that? 
have Material Girl by Madonna stuck in my head. But yeah, I I know people when, you know, the Glam Rocks came out and everything, like, they saw, like, you know, Chica, Roxanne, Freddie, Monty, and they're all just like, yep. They're hot. You know, and I joined in too. I indulged. I was like, yep. They're hot now. That's crazy. I didn't think it was possible. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, sure, I was aware back then of people still simping for the animatronics before they were even hot, but I was just like, yeah, we're gonna ignore that. I didn't see that. And now that, like, it's kind of like, and, like, I literally watched the Smasher Pass video with Fiznom and Kane Carter and every, and, and one other person, and I was just like, I agreed with the Glam Rocks. Everyone else, I was just like, why? <laughs> Ew. No. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I remember this one time, though, in fifth grade, when, like, FNAF had just came out. And I, me and my old, me and my friend were just talking about it. And I mentioned, like, yeah, I like Freddy, he's my favorite one. And then she was like, that makes you a furry. I was like, what? What is a furry? And then she told me what it was, and I was like... Oh. And then I just was just like, I... I oh. Huh? <laughs> I, we're like 12. <laughs> I was like, no, I don't, no, I don't like him that way. I, no. And then cut to like, seven years later. <laughs> and then I was just like, well. And the funny thing is, I made a TikTok of me simping. And that same friend was just like, no, what is wrong with you? <laughs> Just, oh my god. And the funniest thing too is that that was the first, that was like one of the first two times we've started talking again. And I was just like, yep. It, we only started talking again because of the FNAF movie coming out. So it was it's very, it's been very interesting past couple days. And then the first few things that they see of me is me simping for Glamrock Freddy. What can you do? Um, anyways. I really hate the lipstick on Roxanne. Why did they do that? I can see like the top lip. They even did that with Mango. Man Mango. I watch Astro Spiff. They even do that with Man Mango. And I think Funtime Foxy as well. But still, that's just like, why? I mean, the thing is between Funtime Foxy, Mango, and Lulbit, they're, they're like genderly ambiguous, you know? Genderly? Did I just say genderly? Their gender is ambiguous. Honestly, I just see them all as gender fluid, to be honest. I don't care. I feel like I finished. Ugh. I don't like her lipstick. It's so weird. I think it's the lipstick that's messing with me. And I am the material girl. Apparently, I saw the cosplays. For Roxanne, Monty Gator, and now there's a Glamrock Chica in the works. That was cool. <laughs> I also saw the videos of, I think it was at, I don't even know which one it was. Honestly, I know there was a convention somewhere. I don't know where. I just know there was a convention. And I had just been seeing videos of the regular sauce and Kellen Goff on my Instagram feed. And I was just so happy seeing those videos. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. It's so, it's so crazy. <laughs> like, watching the videos made me really giddy. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> you know? Also, I just found it, like, really funny. I saw, like, a few comments, you know, like, because the Glamrock Freddy cosplay, like, it's really cool. And of course, the person behind it is obviously, like, wearing the costume, but it's so funny how people were like, I saw people in the comments were just like, wow! I can't believe they got Kellen to wear the suit. <laughs> cause, cause like there's like videos of Kellen Goff walking alongside the Glamrock Freddy cosplayer, and you know saying his lines or whatever, and talking for Freddy, and it's really cute. But people were also like, "Wow, they really made him wear the suit, huh?" And I'm just like, 
Kellen Goff is literally right there, <laughs> standing next to him. It's so funny. I don't know. Maybe they're kids. Maybe they just don't know. I don't know. But I thought it was really funny. I was just like, he's standing right there, you know. <laughs> also, apparently Kellen Goff made Freddy say, but I'm a material girl, and I think that's hilarious. But it made me cringe a little. <laughs> But it was like a good kind of cringe. I was like, ah, woohoo. <laughs> he said the thing, guys. He said the thing in Glamrock Freddy's voice. That's so crazy. I mean, like, I don't know. It's really funny, though. I really <clears throat> don't know why I make the background dark gray, but I guess it's just because it's easier on the eyes. So, I don't know. Also, if my voice feels- sounds weird, it's just because I'm talking quietly, or at least trying to. Because, well, my mom- <clears throat> my mom is sleeping. Even though my room's all the way back here, <laughs> I'm still just like, I don't want to be rude. Oh, I need to draw Shattered Roxy, but like, I don't want to. <laughs> I- I'm like, slowly learning how to draw animatronics well enough to like make it look like they're animatronics you know but like i don't <clears throat> i don't know i it's already 10 30. it's crazy what is this i don't use this brush what anyways you're living in a material world and i am a material I know probably mentioned this before and probably like on and off again on my channel. But like I don't even use Instagram anymore. I mean recently I installed it because I was just bored and I was like, you know what? I haven't used this in a while. Like I, I install it and uninstall it at random intervals because I don't have a use for it. <laughs> I don't post consistently enough to just kind of have it on my phone. Plus it just saves space and also I just have a different mindset now. <laughs> It's the same with Twitter. I don't have Twitter on my phone. And like if I were gonna use Twitter, I'm just I'll just open it on the website version. Like I don't care to have it on my phone at all times. Also because Twitter is just a hellscape <laughs> that I can't tolerate. Like I can tolerate Tumblr because you know, it's meant to be a hellscape. But the Twitter? No. No. There's nothing interesting going on there for me to be glued on it 24 seven. Same with Instagram. So, it's like, I've gotten into the habit of just, after like, <laughs> a good week, and I think a week is probably the latest, I would just drop Instagram completely and then just be like, alright, bye guys, <laughs> no, never post. Until like, three months later, until I like, reinstall it, because I'm bored. Or, or I just want to post like, a few pictures or repost TikToks. But yeah, I don't use Instagram for like any reason other than to post my art and then leave right after. <laughs> but I've had it for a couple days now. Where I was going with the Instagram chatter was that like, I feel like I, f I feel more comfortable on Tumblr than I do Instagram. Because with Tumblr, you know, it's, it's a catered experience, it's a curated experience for you, you know? You can just chill and vibe, you know? You can make your own dashboard and and shepherd your own content to yourself you know and there's no algorithm it's not going to show you stuff that you won't like per se and it just mainly it's mainly like catered to like who you're following and what tags you follow and then that's it and then you know sometimes you you'll get like reblogs of from like other people that you may or may not follow but like it doesn't matter like it's not an algorithm it's just all people spreading whatever they can around and it's often helpful i don't know what i'm saying but all, um, all i'm saying is um tumblr i feel like it's a better experience for me than instagram because instagram it's just kind of like a you're scrolling you're scrolling you're scrolling but you're not really getting anything from it <laughs> other than some mild validation and maybe a slight dopamine rush that same goes with tiktok and i have tiktok on my phone still <laughs> that's only because i actually post on there now like at least 
until recently. And before, oops, I did that on the wrong layer. And I know, but like before, like the end of the year last year, I was like, I was like, okay, TikTok's okay, I guess. Not something I use every day, but it's whatever. I still like use it to scroll for maybe like an hour or two before I drop it. And I'm like, okay, I gotta do things now. Reels, I don't even look at that anymore. Like I, I will look at it for like maybe like 10 minutes before I'm like, all right, I'm bored. <laughs> I think the only times I actually like looked at reels was because I was looking at Glamrock Friday content. And most of that stuff was probably s reposted from somewhere, like TikTok or something. <laughs> so, eh, no. Plus, like, I don't know what is going on with my Instagram feed, but like, it's all cluttered and I hate it. I don't like looking at it for too long before I just get bored and I'm like, okay. Because I'm like, why am I on the app? Like, I don't want to be here. <laughs> why did I, why am I looking at this? <laughs> just realized this gray is a really good color for her. I might just leave it. But yeah, I, I prefer posting on Tumblr. And I think I'll just keep posting on Tumblr. Like, I'll post on Instagram every so often, but like, I don't have anything to like, show for. I'm just like, whatever. I'm posting this one art that I did like a month ago and then I'm leaving. Or I'm reposting a TikTok. And the thing is, too, that I noticed is that, like, on Tumblr recently, like, sure, I posted FNAF fan art, you know, and compared to, like, Instagram, I got more attention on that than I did on, like, Instagram. And sure, I don't really care too much about views or likes or anything, but, like, I feel- I feel it's different to, like, receive some form of commentary or, like, seeing people reblogging and, like, seeing their comments, it's like, it's better than Instagram where I'm just like, it's just quiet, like, I'm like sure people are liking the post but they're not commenting and I'm just like, oh well, not my issue, that's not my problem. <laughs> On Tumblr, when people reblog, they can sometimes leave tags and you know, you can see their comments and sometimes they're often like really funny or just really nice, you know, even if they don't really say anything substantial, it's still like, hey. A real person is looking at my content, that's crazy. On well, Instagram, I'm just like, are you a bot? Are you real? Who are you? <laughs> do you, do you, do you care? You know, it's, it's a different experience. I just realized I didn't color her nose. Also, her wolf color is more like purplish gray. Now that I'm realizing. I'll probably change that. I don't know. But yeah, I feel like, you know, Tumblr is just a different experience compared to, Twi to, to Instagram. I just don't feel as motivated to post on Instagram than I am on Tumblr. Plus, it's just nice. It's just nice posting on Tumblr. It's like, I don't feel pressured to post often and or frequently. It's just kind of like, just, here you go, here you go, throw it into the void. Maybe some people will catch a glimpse of it, some people might reblog it, and then, yep. And plus, with reblogging, it's like, if they reblog it on their blog, if they reblog it to their, you know, to, yeah, to their blog, then the other people will see it, and then they will reblog it, and then just, it's just an endless chain of reblogging and and f further sending your post into other people's dashboards and stuff, and I think that's pretty neat. And then you you can also reblog your own artwork, no one cares. Like, no one's gonna say anything and or judge. It's like... And I don't feel bad for doing it, so it's like, yeah. Just keep it going. It's like an endless cycle of just... making your art alive, I guess, I don't know. Plus, I feel like interacting with people on Tumblr is a lot more funnier than interacting with people on Instagram. That's just me, though. <laughs> and Tumblr is just a hellscape, as I mentioned. It's just chaotic. You never know what you're getting. You never know what to expect. And sure, I know I- I think I joined Tumblr when I was like... When I was 12. Like, I didn't know how to use it. 
So of course, I didn't use it for very long because I moved over to Google Plus. So yeah, Google Plus became my my Tumblr. Anyways, um, <laughs> but like, <laughs> sure, I've heard about the bone stealing witch and the color theory, and of course, I I, was, I think I was also there when 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 November fifth happened. Was that November 5th or November 6th? I can't remember. And then I was also there when Queen Elizabeth died. That was an interesting day <laughs> to be on Tumblr. But yeah, like I, I was I was there around 2020. And then, you know, scrolling through Tumblr now, there is still some posts that I see and I'm like, yeah, it's just typical Tumblr behavior. And then there will be some posts that like caught me off, that would catch me off guard so hard, like whiplash. And I'll just be like, <laughs> I had to sit there for like a good few seconds just to like process what I just read. Just like, you know, <laughs> and then it's just like, wow, someone made that. That's crazy. Reblog, like, <laughs> or like me too, reblog. And then too, they also added polls. So, you know, people have been having fun with that. And of course I've taken part in many polls. Do I remember any of them? No. <laughs> I remember vanilla extract. I don't know what that was about. I was just kind of like, okay. I enjoy posting on Tumblr a lot more than I do on Instagram. Plus, with Rails and how I I don't understand the algorithm and how it works. I I don't care. I just like <laughs> I I'm less. I put less thought into making an actual Instagram post. I kind of just throw something together. I like just throw the post together add like one or two, maybe three tags, and then I just carry on with my day and hope that it surfaces somewhere and people may like it or not or see it, I don't know. And I add it to my story and then I'm done. I don't want to be bothered to like, I don't want to be bothered. I just don't want to be bothered. I colored her without reference. I just kind of remembered her basic color palette and I was like, yep, I knew it was red and purple. That's all I know. She also has green nails. I forgot about that. I had an essay that I had to do the other day and I wrote it about f fandoms. <laughs> um, that was a very hard essay to write. Not just because of the writing material, but just because I was dealing with stuff of my own. And literally, I... I, I went through a lot <laughs> writing that. Of course, I mentioned FNAF. You know, and yeah, it's a college essay, by the way. <laughs> I wrote a very, it was a definition essay, and about like what fan, like what the word meant to you, and of course I wrote it about fandom, and of course I mentioned in FNAF. And, yep, that was interesting. <laughs> it was like a, it was like, it was due the other day at like eleven fifty nine, and I was still doing it at like. 11 o'clock now of course I was pretty much done but I was still trying to like figure out what else to add and then at some point I was just like you know what we're just gonna call it we're just gonna call it there I'm done here I don't want to do this <laughs> I've said my piece and then I submitted it at like 11 11 so you know that was fun it was a hard essay to write <laughs> Oh, I know what I was forgetting. I was like looking at her, I'm like, what is off about her? I couldn't figure it out. <laughs> I forgot about her arms. They're purple as well. That would have bothered me. Anyways. Yeah, like, I... <laughs> It's like so funny. It's not funny. It wasn't funny at the moment, but like I was struggling so much with that essay and I was I think I cried like I think a total of four times. It's not even because of what like what I was writing, it was more just a process. I was just like Ugh. I was stressed out. I got it done. So that's all that matters. <laughs> and then too, like at some point I think I was like I was like my brain was other it was like it was somewhere else i was thinking about fan fiction which i also mentioned in the essay but i was
was like really thinking about like I'm like oh god I really need to finish the chapter to let me live and then like I was like oh I need to write the other fan fiction that I have planned I don't think I I haven't started yet I'm still thinking about it <laughs> it was supposed to be a Monty X Freddy fic <laughs> and I was like eh. And I had to make myself focus, because I'm like, can't focus on that right now. You need to do your freaking essay that you need to turn in. I have another one coming up. So yeah, <laughs> that's college. You gotta write academic essays about things. Why is she wearing leopard if she's a wolf? You know what? I'm not gonna ask. It's a FNAF game. <laughs> I'm thinking about that one... <laughs> Zanimation video. I, I I feel embarrassed to say that I've watched some clips of Freddy and Friends from Zanimation. But listen, it's kind of funny. Not all of it. There were some bits where I was just like, that did not land well. <laughs> but like, there were some bits specifically from the security, um, security reach videos that were kind of like actually made me cackle because I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> Just some out of pocket shit that sh I'm just like, Whoa, this is this is a kid show. What? I mean, at least it's targeted to kids. It's obviously not for kids. It's like very Elsa Gady, but like in an entertaining way. But I was about to compare it to Bluey. It's nothing like Bluey, obviously, because once again, it feels very Elsa Gady. But like at the same time, it was kind of funny. I watched that unironically because I was like, what's the whole, what's the deal? Is it, because I kept seeing TikToks of Freddy and Friends and I was just like, oh, that, it, that it's not what it's made out to be. And then I kept watching. <laughs> and there are bits that are actually kind of funny. Like, there's like a clip with Monty and, and Gregory that made me like laugh. And basically, um, Gregory gets beaten up by a shark. <laughs> a shark with legs. And Monty is just in the background like, yeah, get some licks. <laughs> it's so funny. And then there's another one where I think it was like Roxanne and Gregory. That's all, like, that's all I've been thinking about for the past like 10 minutes now. Where Gregory was roasting Roxanne and Roxanne is just crying. And Freddy is just like, no, Roxanne, you're, you're fine. Like, you're so... Ah. And then at some point, I think I think Freddy roasts Gregory and then he runs off crying. And then Monty's just like, Ew, who would want their personality associated with the color beige? I was just like, damn. It's so funny for no reason. Let us go. Use your mouse to look both ways while crossing the fast street. I'm like, this is a kid show. Not only that, it's from the same developers of Poppy Playtime. You all have, they have no reason to be this funny. It's so dumb. I hate this. It's like specifically with the like security breach characters. Like those are the only ones that I find funny, except with like you know the original FNAF cast. But ugh, it's so, <clears throat> it's like so perverse. But in the like, at the same time, it's so funny. I don't understand why. I don't understand why they make it so funny. Pisses me off. You really got me out here watching a kid show. I hate it. How dare you. Oh yeah, there's another one Freddy goes to jail. I think that was the same one where where Gregory gets beaten up by the shark with legs. <laughs> um, yeah. Honestly, I'm thinking about like I have no freaking I, I have a lot of videos planned. It's just I'm busy and I don't have enough time to really like sit sit down and edit them. I like, I have a lot of them planned, but like I also don't feel like it. These are video. This, this video will probably be easy for, for me to do because well I'm just talking and I can just cut stuff out and it'll be fine. Does she have green nail polish? I don't remember. It's fine. Honestly, I think the saddest thing about Roxanne, though, I mean, like, sure, she has really crippling self-image issues. I don't know how, I don't know who thought giving animatronics personalities was a good idea in Fazbear Entertainment. Not to say that it was, you know, 
Not to say that it was bad, but I'm just kind of like, you guys just gave these animatronics mental illness. <laughs> Freddy's got some, I don't know what his issue is, honestly, I think, I don't know what his issue is. <laughs> he has something going on, though. Roxanne has self-image issues. Chica eats a lot, which is probably a hint to something. And Monty's got anger issues. Sun and Moon, mainly Sun, has freaking anxiety. And Moon is just crazy. <laughs> or at least, um, I don't know what he is. He's just crazy. I think the only chill one is DJ Music Man. <laughs> He's the only chill one. He, he's got nothing going on. He's the most chill. Sure, he almost tries to kill Gregory, but like that was just because he was in janitor mode. Or custodian mode. Or something. I actually don't know. I don't know what else to add here. I feel like I'm forgetting to do something. Oh. Just give her a slight green tint. <laughs> Ew, she looks awful. Hang on, let me fix that. There you go, does that look okay? <laughs> she is kind of like, she has a purple tint to her a little bit. <laughs> oh, that one song's from Shrek stuck in my head. That's fine. Speaking of Shrek, I watched Puss in Boots The Last Wish a couple of weeks ago, and I've... Fearless hero, hero has been stuck in my head, and it's been on repeat in my head for like, weeks now. And I watched it with my mom the other week. That was fun. <laughs> and, you know, I'm... I, I, I want to watch the movie again. I'm really tempted to. It'll be my third time watching it. <laughs> but, yeah. The movie's great. I love that movie. Jack Horner. Like, it's so funny seeing John Mulaney. I was like... I, I knew he was in the movie, but I also didn't expect to hear his voice coming out of Jack Horner. I was like... Why does he sound like that? I'm like, oh my god, John Mulaney? <laughs> I'm like, and for like the first 10 minutes that Jack Horner was on screen, I was just like, I don't like his voice. His voice does not fit him. And as the movie went on, I was just like, you know what? It's fine. The voice is fine. I got used to it really quickly. Yeah, it just kind of worked. And of course, I have the meme stuck in my head. Just the, are you? You're not going to shoot a puppy. <laughs> it's so funny. I mean that. Um... I'll fix it later. I might do... I might honestly make this a series of me just drawing the animatronics or doing whatever with the animatronics. Because I'm bored. And I got nothing better to do <laughs> with my life. I don't mind it, to be honest. But yeah, I might do that. Is it's easier to do when I don't feel like editing other videos. I mean, I will, I will get to it at some point, but, um, yeah. Anyways, I'm done here. That'll be it for me. It is 11 o'clock. Anyways, bye-bye. <laughs>